Hello and welcome to Election Exchange. I'm Parikshit Lutra. 58 seats across eight states and union territories will go to polls tomorrow in the sixth phase of the Lok Sabha election. These include all the seven constituencies in Delhi and all of the 10 seats in Haryana. 14 seats in UP, eight each in Bihar and West Bengal, six seats in Odisha, four in Jharkhand and one seat in Jammu and Kashmir. Polling in Jammu and Kashmir's Anantnag Rajori seat, which was adjourned in phase three, will also be held tomorrow. After this phase, 57 remaining seats will vote in the final phase on the 1st of June. But all eyes uh, would be on Delhi and the seven Lok Sabha constituencies. The BJP had won all seven in 2019. However, this time around, the party changed six sitting MPs. Meanwhile, the Congress and the AAP, which fought solo in 2019, are in alliance this time around. Will that change the math in the capital? We're joined by senior editor Rupashree Nanda. She joins us on the program. Rupashree, give us a sense of how confident is the AAP Congress alliance uh, in this phase and how do they hope to make a mark? How does the fight in Delhi really stand this time around, considering the BJP dropped uh, six out of seven sitting MPs also speaks volumes? Well, uh, like you mentioned uh, correctly, Parikshit, this time elections in Delhi are completely different from 2019 and 2014. And this time there will be a bipolar contest instead of a triangular contest uh, that Delhi witnessed uh, since uh, 2014. And our Madhi party and the Congress party are actually fighting this election uh, in a well-orchestrated manner with Arvind Kejriwal, uh, the Amadi party chief, even campaigning for the Congress's candidate candidates and uh, Rahul Gandhi also, the Congress MP from Bayanad and senior Congress leader, uh, also said in a rally that while he will be pressing on uh, the uh, button, you know, of uh, Jhadu, uh, the, uh, uh, and uh, Kejriwal would be, you know, uh, pressing on the button of uh, the hand. And, the, uh, and with that, he signaled that uh, the workers of the two parties also at the grassroots are fighting these elections closely together. Having said that, I must also say that there is another factor which is definitely going to influence uh, the voting in this uh, election because uh, Delhi actually saw the arrest of uh, Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal on uh, March 21st, that is just uh, about five days when uh, after elections were declared. And uh, uh, unexpectedly, actually, he was released on bail by, uh, by the Supreme Court just in order to campaign in these elections. And since his release on the 21st of April, actually, he has been campaigning extremely aggressively. And the cr kind of crowds that I'm seeing at his gatherings, even though they may not be very massive, but they are very reminiscent of the times uh, the, uh, that I actually witnessed in 2013 when Ahmadi Party w uh, actually fought its first elections in Delhi. Having said that, I must also say that the gap between the Ahmadi Party and the Congress Alliance, even if you add up both the votes uh, of, the, of all the candidates together, would still be less than 50% and BJP won all the seven Lok Sabha constituencies by more than 50% of the vote share. But this time what I'm getting to hear from the ground is that even though uh, many people say that BJP is ahead and BJP is going to win very comfortably, I'm also hearing the same people also saying, but even though even if BJP wins, I'm going to vote for the uh, Ahmadi party or I'm going to vote for the Congress party. On the other hand, BJP actually has a very solid support base in the national capital. About 32% or 34% of the uh, you know voters in Delhi, they never go away from the BJP, whether it's a Lok Sabha election or a municipal election or even a Vidhan Sabha election. BJP is uh, you know banking on that factor, and of course uh, the charisma of uh, Prime Minister Modi. Uh, Prime Minister Modi has also campaigned in Delhi uh, very aggressively. He has hit out against the Amarbi Party. And uh, the other uh, uh, point to be noted over here is the uh, kind of impact that the allegations of corruption against uh, the chief minister, uh, the, uh, the kind of uh, you know allegations that the BJP has leveled against the chief minister that he's not a common person anymore. Look at his house. He lives in a lavish manner. Look at the cases which have been slapped against him. Look at this government in which so many ministers have gone to jail. Whether that is really going to have an impact on the support or supporters of the Aam Army Party. Uh, so this time, Delhi elections definitely are much more interesting than, last, than, than the last time. The only thing I can say now is that it is going to be much more closely fought than before. Absolutely, Rupashri. Stay with us. And clearly, the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal, leaders like Manisha Shodhya, Sanjay Singh, Satyendra Jain has uh, made Delhi take center stage. Even though it's about seven seats, it's also 
the core of what the opposition really, what the opposition really stands for right now accusing the bjp prime minister and amit shah of political vendetta i'm joined by shivam chabra of the bjp also siddharth sharma of the aam aadmi party shivam chabra is this something that is a worry for the bjp the sympathy wave in favor of arvind kejriwal or you feel that uh, the party will be able to swing through do you feel that 2014 2019 performance in delhi will be difficult this time around shivam i think you are mute so arvind kejriwal is behind the bars and on bail on the charges of the liquor gate there can never be sympathy on any grounds uh, i would say and i think uh, as as i always say we, we always always believed in sabka saath sabka vikas sabka vishwas with sabka prayas we we basically uh, done what we said we have abrogated to 317 jammu and kashmir we will ensure that the uh, biggest of bigger ram temple has been built in ayodhya ji and we have ensured that uh, you know the the indian economy has reached out to the uh, top five economies in the world we've done what 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 we've committed and i think we, we still have a road of road map we, we have a uh, you know plan in action for next five years down the line uh, un unlikely the you know the gandhi alliance always say so uh, i think uh, we have a strong uh, battlefield uh, out here we have a strong ground that bjp will certainly come back to power for and seats right let me go back to uh, siddharth sharma now of the aam aadmi party siddharth how do you respond to the bjp spokesperson shivam chabra they are calling you a ghamandi alliance uh, would you say that the outcome of this election is also important as to how the aam aadmi party does at a national level <clears throat> well parikshit the less said about the bjp spokesperson statement the better because even the prime minister today is speaking about buffaloes and mangal sutras so when he says about uh, he, he gives uh, some kind of acronyms to our alliances then the bjp is alliance the b in bjp stands for does b, b in bjp stand for mr bijbushan sharan singh or uh, bjp stands for mr prajwal revanna who has uh, videos of 3000 women molesting himself so let's not get into that an election is fought because uh, me personally uh, although I'll, also i am a party person but I'll, i'm also a political student so i've traveled across india from karnataka to kashmir and this election has decisively taken a turn people today are voting for policy and not for politics bjp prides itself uh, in machiavellian politics uh, like games of thrones shenanigans it engineer it engineers coups it designs defections it knives its opponents it puts people opponents like mr hemant soren into jail it uh, tries to harass uh, a chief minister doctor generian parents with police uh, uh, harassment these things apart what BJ, what essentially happened is that people have now understood that bjp is all show and no substance i am a person who is a little bit of a small investor and i keep investing uh, on the tips given on your channel cnbc news 18 uh, what has essentially happened is that fdi today is down 63% in india compared to 2007 the savings have shrunk to 5% of the gdp from 7% in 2022 household debt today is 6 per, has risen to 6% of the gdp which is the highest since 1970 38% of iitns are today jobless asian paint sales are down lower than gdp the bajaj auto bajaj two wheeler sales are lower than the, the gst that is put on a two wheeler both have both bajaj and asian pay asian paints are household names and large volume consumables and top it with the finance minister of india when uh, she said uh, what about the onion price hike she says that i don't i don't eat, uh, eat onions juxtapose this with aam aadmi party's model lowest unemployment rate in delhi at 3% compare it with haryana at 10% this is in uh, times of india today highest per capita income of nearly 5 lakh rupees per person compared to indian uh, per capita income of 2 and 2 and 1/2 lakh rupees lowest inflation that is half of what india is facing today even unskilled workers 
even unskilled people, gig workers are earning nearly mm. 17,000 rupees per month as per minimum wage. Okay. So the people of Delhi have understood the people of Delhi will be voting on policy and not just Delhi. When I, I try to juxtapose this, this, I think this program is also your theme also included Haryana. So that's why I gave certain Haryana data. In Haryana, what is happening is that construction, uh, a state which had to increase because of, which had to grow because of manufacturing sector, the manufacturing sector is coming down and the construction sector is going up. So essentially, 10% okay. unemployment. I've got your point. You're saying that the Ahmadi Party government in Delhi has performed better when it comes to economic indicators. But if we look at how the opposition, the UPA, had performed in last time, there are both pros and cons. In 2013, you had Manmohan Singh, the then Prime Minister, saying in a Congress event that inflation has been one of the biggest shortcomings of the UPA era. Also, let's not forget the retrospective tax had been brought by the UPA and later it was revoked by the NDA. There are plus points on both sides. There are questions the, on economic policy that can be raised on both sides. But the BJP came into power saying that yeah. they will resolve all these issues. So they cannot take that same argument. <laughs> okay, I got your point. I got your point, Siddharth. Shivam, here you've got Siddharth Sharma saying that they have offered better employment opportunities, better opportunities for gig workers, a better economic environment in Delhi. What does the BJP have to offer? Also, when you're raising allegations of corruption, of the liquor scam against the Ahmadi Party, how would you... Explain to people why people accused of coal scam, of uh, other corruption cases, of, uh, uh, of sexual abuse cases are fighting uh, on BGP tickets and tickets of uh, allies. I'm speaking about Prajwal Rivana, uh, Bridge Bhushan, Sharan Singh. But actually, what is interesting to see is what my friend Siddharthi has been referring to. He was referring to his policies here in Delhi. I must remind him, not a single school has been built under his, his uh, government, not a single college has turned up in his, um, his government, and he's talking of uh, so-called education model. And not a single uh, hospital has been built under his regime, and they talk of the health model only. Yes, I do agree. There have been mohalla clinics which were transformed into tabelas and, uh, you know, uh, what all, what not. So they, they have certainly been boasting about what all they have done. And interest, most inter interestingly, uh, uh, Parishet, they must come up front and answer the fact that uh, they, they always stood for women and that is how they have been claiming to. But unfortunately, they could not ensure justice to their own Rajya Sabha MP who was, uh, mal who was treated badly and uh, assaulted right at the Chief Minister's residence. They don't have an answer to it. And interestingly, the same, uh, same female I'm referring to, the Rajya Sabha MP I'm referring to, was a chairperson of the Delhi Commission for Women uh, under the regime of uh, Arvind K. Rivalji. Right now, she's the Rajya Sabha MP. They don't have an answer to it. Their one MP comes up uh, and do, does a press conference, accepts the fact that she was, uh, you know, treated badly at the Chief Minister's residence. Action would be taken. What action has been taken? He was uh, taken along with Mr. Kedriwal and Mr. Sanjay Singh in a chartered flight to uh, Uttar Pradesh for campaigning. So that is what they, that is how they reward things. And they don't have a right to probably question the uh, the political party, our Bharatiya Janata Party, on all these terms. Uh, most interestingly, and as well as uh, your question regarding, uh, you know, the, the the our our take is concerned, and I think the party leadership has already come up front and said that law will take its own course. We don't agree to what they've done, and I think that you need to rely on the. I mean, I'm not a judiciary. You need to trust the judiciary of this country. You need to you need to believe that what the judiciary does. I mean, I, I cannot jump the goals and say right. that I cannot... But Shivam, you know, the issues. question is... So, fine. But the question is, Shivam, when you know that there are criminal cases pending against these people, then why induct and make them fight? It's one thing to say, yes, we've taken them, but the judicial process will continue. Then, but why get them in the no. first place? That is a question that many no. people will ask and politicians so, will ask. Shivam, I'll return to you. You need Siddharth, to be convicted. Siddharth Sharma... Okay, let me get in Siddharth Sharma at this point. Siddharth Sharma, the latest allegations against Bibhav, Bibhav Kumar, who was a close aide of Arvind Kejriwal. Now, these allegations have been raised by Swati Maliwal. They have been in public domain over the last few weeks. Bibhav has been arrested as well. Uh, the allegation is that Arvind Kejriwal, the Ahmadi party, was slow to act against Bibhav. Do you admit that the timing of this arrest can harm the Ahmadi party? Yeah. 
Uh, I think the viewers of CNN, CNBC News 18 in the last few minutes have seen that BJP was given two chances. It did not say at any point of time what good it has done in the last 10 years. It was only bad-mouthing Arvind Kejriwal and Amadbi Party. Amadbi Party spokesperson, in the first instance when I was given a chance, I, 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 I told the people what Amadbi Party is doing. Now for the substantial questions that you are asking. Before you are asking the question, in the first, uh, first segment, uh, the BJP spokesperson spoke about the liquor policy and the liquor... The corruption charges on Aam Aadmi Party. So I'll answer that first and then I'll answer to your question. Uh, the point number one, uh, this is a money laundering case on Aam Aadmi Party. Now in a money laundering case, money has to be found. The money is already found uh, parked at the BJP's porch, taken the, through electoral bond by BJP in the same liquor policy case, Mr. Sharad Reddy, who was the main accused. Now, as far as Aam Aadmi Party is concerned, not a single rupee of money, laund uh, money recovery has happened. So, in a money laundering case, if the money is found parked with the BJP and zero money recovery with Aam Aadmi Party, you, do you know what will happen when this court will, when this case will go to the trial stage? Obviously, BJP will because, uh, become accused number one and it will get convicted. That answers the question of Mr. The, the BJP spokesperson. Now, to answer to your, your specific question, um, uh, I, I think what the BJP, BJP very intelligently, what it, what it, what it does is that it thinks of itself as a tailor of law. It uh, stitches uh, very loose fitting clothes for itself and it tailors very tight fitting clothes for others. Now juxtapose this, uh, a BJP governor in Punjab, he also faces a charge of women's harassment. What does he do? He asks the police not to enter Raj Bhavan. He, uh, he is not cooperating with the investigation. Uh, example number two, the present Lieutenant Governor of Delhi is also in a case of women's harassment being called in a court case in Gujarat. And there he cites immunity because he is the, he's, he, he is the head of a, a government in Delhi. Now juxtapose this with Aam Admi Party which says that there are two, two uh, aspects to, to this case and the entire CCTV footage of the chief minister's home of that day is already given to the police and as far as the videos are concerned, it is clearly showing that the person who is the complainant here, that person itself is the aggressor uh, inside. Whatever happens, Aam Admi Party is very clear okay. that we have already given out whatever the CCTV evidence is there. How come BJP, governor of West Bengal, is claiming immunity in a similar case? That's why I say BJP thinks itself right. as a tailor, so, um, which, which, which stitches law according to its own convenience. It stitches a very tight fit for others okay. and makes a loose run our time. <laughs> All right, we've completed run our time. I'd like to thank uh, Shivam Chabra and Siddharth Sharma for uh, joining us. Uh, but the fate of all these seven seats in Delhi and also how the political alliance of the opposition does in Delhi and Haryana will be clear tomorrow. We'll take a short break. We'll thank both our guests for joining us. When we return, we will be getting you more election updates from West Bengal, Odisha, Jharkhand on the other side. Welcome back. Staying with our election coverage, eight seats in West Bengal are gearing up for voting tomorrow. It's a fight between the BJP and TMC who have fielded candidates for all seats. Network 18's uh, Sanhya Ghosh is joining us from Kolkata with a mood in the state ahead of the sixth phase. Uh, Sanhya, kya mood hai waha par? Jaisa ki hum sabko malum hai, Pashchim Bengal mein total saat dafa mein election hone ja raha hai aur us beech kal sixth phase ka election hai. और पिछले जो फेजेस थे उससे कुछ ज्यादा कलरफुल फाइट्स देखने को मिलेगा आ, कल की जो इलेक्शन है उसमें क्योंकि देर आर सेवरल सीट्स जहां पे हम सभी को आ, देखने को मिलेगा जहां पे बीजेपी थोड़ा स्ट्रांग है लीडर ऑफ अपोजिशन ऑफ वेस्ट बंगाल शुभेंदु अधिकारी उनका जो कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसी है कांथी वहां पे कल इलेक्शन है वहां पे एक अच्छा फाइट देखने को मिलेगा बीजेपी की तरफ से जो लीडिंग ऑपोजिशन पार्टी है वेस्ट बंगाल में और दूसरी तरफ कुछ ऐसे भी सीट्स है जहां पे कुछ अतरंगी फाइट्स यहां पे देखने को मिलेगा जहां पे हमको मालूम है बंगाल फिल्म इंडस्ट्री के दो लीडिंग एक्टर देव और हिरन एक दूसरे के खिलाफ लड़ने वाले हैं घाटाल कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसी में बिष्णुपुर कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसी में बीजेपी के नेता शोमित्रो खां के खिलाफ लड़ने वाले हैं उनका ही एक्स वाइफ सुजाता खां 
ऐसे कुछ अतरंगी फाइट्स कल के इस फेज में देखने को मिलेगा टोटल आठ सीट में कल का ये इलेक्शन होने वाला है और ऑब्वियसली ये इस इलेक्शन के ऊपर मतलब इस फेज के ऊपर बहुत ही डिपेंड करेगा कि एग्जैक्ट रिजल्ट इस इलेक्शन का कौन सी तरफ जाने वाला है मतलब ये जो प्रोबेबिलिटी है कि कौन ज्यादा सीट बंगाल से हासिल करेगा इसका आंसर कल कल का जो इलेक्शन है कल का जो फेज है इसके ऊपर बहुत ही डिपेंड करता है और बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण होने वाला है कल का यह फेज राइट मूविंग टू ओडिशा वे सिक्स सीट All right, moving to Odisha, where six seats will go to polls tomorrow. It's a three-way fight between the BJD, BJP, and the Congress Party. One of the key battles to watch will be Sambalpur seat, where BJP's Dharmendra Pradhan will fight against BJD's Prana Prakash Das. Previous phases have seen robust voter turnout, setting the stage for an equally compelling phase six. We have Satyajit Senapati joining us from Bhubaneswar. Satyajit, kya lag raha hai Odisha me? Ye jo seats jari hai phase six me aur assembly me kaun zada strong hai is baar? देश में छठे चरण और उड़ीसा में देखेंगे तो तीसरे चरण की चुनाव काल होने वाला है और इस चुनाव में अगर देखेंगे तो छः लोकसभा क्षेत्र और 42 विधानसभा क्षेत्र के लिए वोट होगा कल सुबह सात बजे से ये वोटिंग शुरू होगा लेकिन इस चुनाव चरण में हम देखेंगे तो बहुत बड़े बड़े जो बिग चेहरे हैं वो अपने किस्मत आजमा रहे हैं वो निर्वाचन में लड़ रहे हैं इसमें हम देखेंगे तो केंद्र शिक्षा मंत्री धर्मेंद्र प्रधान वो संबलपुर से उम्मीदवार हैं वो चुनाव लड़ रहे हैं कल उनके लिए वोट देंगे लोग और दूसरे तरफ देखेंगे तो बीजू जनता दल की जो ऑर्गेनाइजिंग सेक्रेटरी है जो सेकेंड नंबर हैं बीजेडी के वो भी निर्वाचन लड़ रहे हैं वो भी संबलपुर से केंद्र मंत्री धर्मेंद्र प्रधान के अगेंस्ट में निर्वाचन चुनाव लड़ रहे हैं और दूसरे तरफ देखेंगे तो जो बीजेपी के राष्ट्रीय मुख्य पात्र है राष्ट्रीय स्पोक्स पर्सन है संबित पात्रा वो भी संबलपुर से चुनाव लड़ रहे हैं वो भी कल उनके उनके लिए भी वोट होगा उनका भी काली वोट है वो भी चुनाव लड़ रहे हैं इसके साथ अपराजिता सड़गी नेशनल स्पोक्स पर्सन बीजेपी का भुवनेश्वर से वो भी सांसद लड़ रहे हैं जिनका काल उनका भी कल वोट होगा तो एक बड़े चेहरे पर हम नजर है क्योंकि काल जो छः लोकसभा में चुनाव होगा इसमें जो अपराजिता सड़गी संबित पात्र केंद्र मंत्री धर्मेंद्र प्रधान के समेत हम बीजू जनता दल के भी देखेंगे तो संतृप्त मित्र जो हिंडाल में पहले सीएल सी, सीओ थे वो भी चुनाव लड़ रहे हैं कटक से बीजू जनता दल की तरफ से दूसरी तरफ देखेंगे तो छठे बार जो सांसद भरतुहरी महताब कटक से निर्वाचन लड़ रहे हैं भारतीय जनता पार्टी की तरफ से तो एक बड़े फाइट की तरफ से देखा जा रहा है और ऐसे बताया जा रहा है कि जो चार चरण में उड़ीसा में चुनाव होने वाला था यह तीसरे चरण सबसे महत्वपूर्ण है and ranchi is all set to go to polls tomorrow and ranchi is all set to go to polls tomorrow in what could be a close contest with the congress and the bjp the congress has fielded yashaswini sahai while uh, sanjay seth is contesting from the bjp my colleague arunima spoke with voters from the tribal community to get a sense of the key issues and whether the benefits of central schemes have reached their doorstep pidi in rachi there is a political heat which is catching up let me try and understand what their issues is aap bata rahe the ki aapne hemant suren ke bare mein kuch kuch internet pe dekha hai to kya dekha aapne zara bataiye maam to bas itna sune madam kyo ghotla kiya hai bas itna hi dekhe the ban nahi me ya ho gaya to bjp keh rahi hai ki aap logon ka paisa aap adivasiyon ka paisa wo le gaye hain aapko lagta hai ki aap logon ko ko dikkat ho rahi hai aapka paisa sarkar aapko nahi de rahi aisa lag raha hai वो तो लग रही है कि नहीं मिल रहा है वो तो सही बात है अब इतना दिन हुआ है हम लोग का इधर कभी मोदी आवास ना कुछ भी नहीं मिला है अभी तक मोदी आवास नहीं मिला है आप लोग इस बार जब चुनाव में वोट देने जा रहे हैं हाँ। क्या चल रहा है दिमाग में कैसे तय करेंगे किसको देना है वोट वही मतलब हम, हम लोग को जो विकास के राहों पर ले जाएगा तो उसी को देना है हम लोग को विकास के राहों पर झारखण्ड में करप्शन बहुत है हाँ करप्शन है अभी बहुत ज्यादा है हाँ। और कौन जिम्मेदार है इतने करप्शन के लिए भाई सरकार जिम्मेदार है अभी तो राज्य सरकार राज्य सरकार जिम्मेदार अच्छा है। आप तो किसान का काम करते हैं ना हाँ। हाँ? तो किसानी से आपका काम घर चल जाता है किसानी से चल चल, चल रहा है अभी तो हाँ। हाँ। अच्छा आपके घर में बिजली आती है बिजली तो आते है और सड़क भी अच्छी बनी हुई है और आवास जो प्रधानमंत्री आवास है उसमे घर बना है आपका नहीं नहीं मिला है कैसे खाना बनाती हैं मिला है उज्ज्वला योजना में गैस सिलेंडर तो खाना कैसे बनाती हैं 
लकड़ी से कहा से खुद जाके जंगल से लाती हाँ? 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 तो सुबह कितने बजे उठती हैं आप सुबह छह बजे सात बजे पाँच बजे और फिर जाकर लकड़ी लाके लाती हूँ लाती है फिर खाना बनाती है अच्छा और पानी पीने के पानी को कोई बाहर से कहीं से ढो के लाना पड़ता है नल 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 है नल कब आया सामने है कितने साल पहले लगा नल इधर दो तीन साल हो गए तीन तीन साल की जगह तीन साल और उसके पहले कैसे करते थे पानी का कुआं से ढो के लाते थे कुआं से ढो के लाते थे तो यहाँ गर्मियों में तो कुएं में पानी बहुत नीचे चला जाता है पानी आता है फिर रस्सी लगा के खींचते हैं तो पानी की दिक्कत थी इसका मतलब हाँ, पहले बहुत दिक्कत थी। दिक्कत थी हाँ। और अब नल लगने से दिक्कत कम हुई है हाँ, कुछ कम है कुछ कम हुआ है अच्छा आप लोग बताइए इस गांव में आप लोग कह रहे थे विकास के नाम पर आप लोग वोट देंगे तो क्या विकास चाह रहे हैं आप कह रहे पानी का नल आ गया है हाँ आप लोगों के यहाँ सड़क भी ठीक ठाक है तो और क्या सरकार से उम्मीद है आप क्या चाहते हैं क्या बोलो अब गरीबी रेखा से थोड़ा ऊपर ऊपर आना चाहते हैं बाकी घर में तो दिक्कत है ही सरकार ध्यान नहीं दे रहे हमारे ऊपर कौन सी सरकार राज्य सरकार की केंद्र सरकार अभी तो केंद्र सरकार भी है राज्य सरकार भी ध्यान नहीं दे रहे All right, uh, four key seats in uh, Jharkhand also going to polls in with which includes Ranchi as well. Let's see how the state votes on the 25th of this month. With that it's a wrap of this edition of Election Exchange. More news and updates continue right here.